Hi kids! Today we will learn about a type of data chart, which is called histogram. So let's start! What are data charts and why we use them? Data chart is a type of diagram or graph where data is represented by various symbols, such as bars in bar graph, lines in line graph, or slices in pie chart. Charts makes it easy to understand large quantities of data and the relationship between parts of data. Data given in the form of charts is read more quickly. There are different types of data charts. So let's now learn a type of data chart which is called histograms. Histogram is also a bar chart with rectangular bars like a bar chart. Here too, lengths of bars represent the values of entities. Difference from bar chart is that in bar chart, the width of bar chart does not represent any value but the name of entity. But in histograms, the width of rectangular bars represent class interval. That is, entire range of values are divided into series of small intervals, and then we count how many values fall into each interval. Let's learn more on it using some examples. Weight of some people was noted down. Weights were in the range from 100 to 250. So, small class intervals or categories can be made like this. Also, each category or class interval is same size. Like here, each class interval is 25 in size. 100 to 125 pounds. 126 to 150 pounds, 151 to 175 pounds, 176 to 200 pounds, 201 to 225 pounds, 226 to 250 pounds. And then calculate it how many people have weight in each class interval. Like here, it's calculated. Five people have weights in the range of 100 to 125 pounds. Fifteen people have weights in the range of 126 to 150 pounds, and so on. Now let's see how we write down this data in the form of a histogram. First of all, the title of the graph will be Weight of People in Pounds. One form of data we have is Number of People. It's a numeric data and can be easily accommodated on a simple scale along any axes. Let's make the scale of Y axis. We have Number of People in the range of 1 to 40 in every class. So we will make scale according to that. Second information we have is weights of people in pound, which is already divided into class intervals. Now, on x-axis too, make a scale showing class intervals. According to data, five people have weights in the range of 100 to 125 pounds. So make a bar up to the mark of 5. Next we have 15 people in the range of 126 to 150 pounds. So make a bar up to the mark of 15. Next we have 23 people in the range of 151 to 175 pounds. So make a bar up to the range of 23. Next we have 37 people in the range of 176 
to 200 pounds. So make a bar up to the range of 37. Next we have 15 people in the range of 201 to 225 pounds. So make a bar up to the mark of 15. Next we have 4 people in the range of 226 to 250 pounds. So make a bar up to the mark of 4. And our histogram is ready. We can read our histogram like there are 5 people that have weight in the range of 100 to 125 pounds. There are 15 people in the range of 126 to 150 pounds, and so on. Now let's see what's the difference between histograms and bar graphs. In bar graphs, one axis shows the scale for numeric data and the other one shows the textual data. Where bars are drawn and the height of bar relate to the numeric value that textual data holds. And there can be gap between the bars. Width of bars does not represent any value in bar graphs. Only the height of bars represents the quantity of textual data related to that bar. Now let's see histogram. In a histogram, one axis shows the scale of numeric data, like bar graph, and the other axis shows bars where the width of bars shows the class intervals. And there can be no gap between the bars in a histogram, and height of bar represent the quantity of that class interval that relate to the other information on other axes. That's same as a bar graph. So kids, we learned what's the difference between bar graphs and histograms. Now let's take a few more examples of histograms. Now we have another data. We have marks of all the students in grade 5. We cannot make a bar of each student as there are so many students. So, we will make class intervals or categories of students. Students who have got marks in the range of 0 to 10. Students who have got marks in the range of 11 to 20. Similarly, categories for 21 to 30 marks, 31 to 40 marks, and 41 to 50 marks and we will make a bar for each class interval, rather than making a bar for each student. Now, let's answer a few questions. How many marks are there in the range of 0 to 10? There are three students in the range of 0 to 10. Similarly, count how many students have got marks in the range of 11 to 20. There are seven students. Similarly, count for all categories. Now let's make a histogram out of it. We have two axes, like a bar graph. Let the title be Grade 5 Math Results. On y-axis, we will make a scale to show the frequencies for the number of data items in a particular class interval. On this scale, we will be showing the number of students who got marks in one particular class interval of marks. On x-axis, we will show the marks divided into class intervals. Number of students in different class intervals ranges from 1 to 20. First class interval is 0 to 10 marks. This category has 3 students, so make a bar up to the mark of 3 and label 0 to 10. Next class interval is 11 to 20 marks. This class interval or category has 7 students, 
So make a bar up to the mark of 7 and label it as 11 to 20. Next class interval is 21 to 30 marks and this category has 12 students. So make a bar up to the mark of 12 and label as 21 to 30. Next class interval is 31 to 40 marks. And this category has 16 students. So make a bar up to the mark of 16 and label as 31 to 40. Next class interval is 41 to 50 marks. And this category has 20 students. So make a bar up to the mark of 20 and label as 41 to 50. So our histogram is ready. We can read our histogram like three students got marks in the range of 0 to 10. Seven students got marks in the range of 11 to 20. And so on. So kids, today we have learned what is a histogram, how to make it and read it. Now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye! Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye!